your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. This is actually down in Oklahoma. This is the snow and ice that was occurring today. I got this from a friend of mine. This is down near Lawton, Oklahoma. What's interesting is it's snowing and icing in Oklahoma and Texas, but it rained this morning in southern Manitoba and southern Saskatchewan. So what is going on? You can actually see that right here. The echoes up here near Winnipeg and uh, Saskatoon. We got a few little greens up here and also a little freezing rain in northern Minnesota, but it's snowing near Dallas. The cold has been split into two lobes. We've got bitter cold way up here to the north. I mean, it is stuck up here in Canada. And then there's a lobe of cold down here in the desert southwest all the way towards Texas and Oklahoma. This is remnants of the Arctic blast that brought it down to 30 below zero in Minnesota around New Year's Eve and brought frost and freezing to Southern California, San Diego, Los Angeles. So there's a lobe of cold down here, and then we've got a lobe of cold kind of stuck up here. So there's one lobe. Here's the other one down here. Now, what's going on with this little area? Mild weather. See the greens and the lighter blues? Those are milder temperatures. Well, this jet stream is so strong, it's locked the really cold air up. And a lot of this air is being uh, is originating in the Pacific. So the Pacific air is riding up and over the mountains and then kind of downsloping into the plains. So it's heating, it's uh, drying out, and it's producing this kind of sandwich of nice weather. And we're in the good part of the sandwich. The bun is the cold air north of us, the other bun is south of us, and I guess we're the patty, I guess. Nice and mild right through the upcoming weekend. Rain Monday gets colder briefly, then it warms up again briefly, and then it's a stair step downward towards sharply colder weather. We'll be in the mid-20s tonight, a heavy frost, a few high thin cirrus clouds. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day. The only thing is the clouds may thicken enough to dim that sun a little bit later on. Still a high of 48, and we're going to be in the mid-40s even at lunchtime, and there won't be much wind either. But the reminder, you'll have to scrape your windshield in the morning, but afternoon highs 46 to 48. Beautiful Saturday, lots of sun, frost in the morning, a southwest breeze, and a 49-degree high. We should be in the low 30s for the time of year, upper 40s to right around 50. So it's a perfect car wash day on Saturday and Sunday. Not so much on Monday because of rain coming in. Just a few high, thin, cirrus clouds, a couple of areas of mid-level clouds coming in. That'll dim the sun a little bit tomorrow. Uh, the clouds will increase a little bit on Sunday, too, as our next storm system approaches with rain Monday, and then the pattern becomes colder with time. We get another round of rain at the end of next week, and after that, sharply colder. And the rain Monday, generally, around a half an inch. Seven-day forecast, normal highs, low 30s, but nowhere near that for the weekend with highs up to 52 Sunday, one day of rain, that's Monday. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not a bad forecast. It's nice to be the patty and not the buns. Yeah, I'd rather be the patty <laughs> or the cheese melting. All right, thanks, Jim. There's a big 